These things are super, super dirty. It's right down here under the plant. Basically, it grows live plants on it, which I feel brand new, upgraded, better fish tank. All right, buddy, you gotta stay out here, okay? Play in your tunnel. Play in your tunnel. Go ahead. But that is our kitten, Saint. We adopted him a little over a week ago and our other cat is still doing well. He's just sleeping, so I didn't want to bother him. But his name is Oakley and the kitten's name is Saint. And they're super cute. They love each other so much. But today we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the 10 gallon divided bed tank. If you guys can see it, I don't have like a viewfinder, so I can't really see myself, but the 10 gallon divided bed tank, that isn't doing the best. The snail and the shrimp that I got recently, if you saw that video, definitely did improve the plants. However, they're still not growing that much and some of them are still dying as you can see. And thankfully, a company was kind enough to go ahead and send me out a plant light, but not only are we gonna be adding a plant light, which is gonna be my first plant light, we're also gonna be adding a bunch of rocks and changing around the plants and really just redoing the entire tank because it just doesn't look that great. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's open up these packages and, and start rebuilding this aquarium. And before we get into that, make sure to drop a like down below, hit that subscribe button so we can hit 100,000 and comment down below what your favorite beta video is that I've ever done. So here is the package right here. It is just a nice Amazon box. All I have is a paintbrush to open it up. So let's crack it open. Now, a lot of you have commented about this brand and finally I was able to get one of their lights, but this right here is a night crew aquarium light plus good for fresh water salt water plants it has an adjustable mounting base so you can fit it to any size aquarium for the perfect fit it is a full spectrum led provides like extra coloration there's also no bulb replacements which is good and this one in particular fits aquariums that are 18 to 24 inches long which is going to be perfect for my 10 gallon divided bed tank so let's go ahead and open up our light like i said i've never actually owned an aquarium light with all the aquariums that i've owned i've never owned an official one so this is really exciting and i've heard that this brand is really good also they're very inexpensive so right here looks like we got the plug we can go ahead and slide this out wow that is so clean that is an amazing looking light like the quality of this thing is amazing already and i haven't even turned it on yet and then right here are the little legs and you just put them in the side of the aquarium like so and you can push it in as far as you need to so i'm gonna go ahead and put both of them in and then we'll line it up with the actual aquarium so we can see how much they need to be out but already this light looks super dope and i know that it's gonna make these plants grow a ton all right so let's grab this light and see how much we need to adjust it all right so i got the light to be centered on here and already i just love how it looks like i said i've never had an official aquarium light and i just really love how it looks i think it adds to it a ton especially when it's turned on it's gonna look amazing so let's go ahead and plug this in okay the light is plugged in and now we have three different settings let's go ahead and test them out but first let's turn the lights off now it's time to actually test out this light okay, so i guess this is the w oh that's the w setting so that's what so it's gonna take me a minute to figure out this remote here but that looks insane like the difference in this aquarium like watch ready lights on and lights off i mean two completely different tanks we need to go ahead and clean these lids because they're very very dirty and i might even do that in this video to really make sure this tank looks completely different but that is going to help the plants so much and just the quality when i film is so different because of the light in here like this is 100 percent my favorite aquarium product i've ever purchased well this one i didn't purchase but you get the point so 100%, make sure you go in the description down below and check out Night Crew's products and they make your tank look like this. I mean, tell me that's not so cool, but I'm completely blown away and impressed with how much better the tank looks with this light. Now you can actually see our shrimp, but both of them are just sitting down there chilling right by the divider. And our snail is right over here, but I just love how much better the quality looks in this tank. I can actually finally show you guys things in the tank without it looking so bad. But now it is time to clean up all the stuff in the aquarium because it looks really bad. We also need to add some rocks in here and actually complete the aquascape. So with our brand new light in the aquarium, let's continue to upgrade this tank because when the beta goes in here, I want it to just completely be done and I want it to look amazing when the beta goes in. So let's finish off this tank. Well, first things first, I need to go ahead and take these lids off. These things are super, super dirty. I just have to show you guys because I just think it looks so cool. But the above view into the tank is also a lot better with these lights. But now I got my cup for my dead plants and I'm gonna go ahead and just start removing all the dead plants. Here's our first one here, really gross. Now I'm fairly new to actually having plants, but I'm pretty sure this right here means that it is dead. It kind of turned the soil black. This one as well looks like it's completely dead. 
I don't know if that's true. It's just kind of melting in my hand, even the roots. This one's nice and big, but I'm really just trying to clean up the aquarium the best I can. But because I caused a very large stir up in the aquarium, I'm just gonna go ahead and let it sit overnight so everything can settle. And then I'll really be able to see what is alive and what is not. And then I'll be able to do the algoscape a little bit more easily. So let me go ahead and move this back. So I'll see you guys in the morning when everything is settled and we can go ahead and add the rocks and everything else. Okay, and so it is the next morning. And before we finish off the tank, I just wanna give you guys a quick update on our betta. I did just turn the light on, but he's right down here under the plant, just kind of chilling. And honestly, he seems like kind of a shy betta. He doesn't, he kind of hides as soon as I go near the tank. So it might be hard to film him at first. We're gonna have to get him used to me. But so far there's no signs of anything, like any illnesses or parasites or anything, which is good. And he will be going in this side of the divided betta tank. If you didn't know, this is a 10 gallon. So it's five gallons on each side. Although I do have to fix the divider a little bit because it looks like it kind of moved this way when I was like moving around plants and everything before. But the plants are nice and green, all looking really healthy. And now is the time that we can go ahead and actually finish off this aquascape so I can move these plants into their final position so that they can root there and they can just take over the aquarium. We can get these plants out of their pots and then the dwarf hair grass won't be so bunched together as well. Here's one of our shrimp just doing its thing. And on this side of the tank, the only thing that has survived is that dwarf hair grass right there. But I think that's because there isn't a filter on the side, so the flow isn't too great, which I will be setting up soon. I just haven't yet. But let's go ahead and finish off the aquascape on this side because, because before we know it, this guy down here will be going up into that tank. So for this aquascape, I'm trying to decide if I should use Dragonstone here. I have two different pieces. Or if I should use this, which I'm leaning more towards this because I do really want to test it out. I've had it for a couple weeks now and I've just really wanted to put it into a tank. Basically, it grows live plants on it, which I feel like would be perfect for this tank as well. So I think I'm going to go with this. But the first step is moving around these plants so I can actually put that in there and figure out how I want them set up. I think the first step is going to be to open this up so that I can, so I can see how big it is officially. Okay, so this is the thing right here. So I'm guessing that there are seeds kind of placed within this like fake looking grass. There's also like this hole, I guess we can put like another plant in there or something, but I just want to see how this grows on its own. Also, I already felt it and it isn't too sharp for a betta. I thought it might be, so I was questioning even using it, but after feeling it, this is like actually pretty smooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this down so I can get everything ready in the tank and then we can put this in there. And now with that done, I can go ahead and start rearranging the plants in here. So I have to mess around with them a little bit. I thought about how I want it to look. We also have to take the plants that are in the pots out. So as you can see, I had to cut open the pot, but this is just gonna make it easier so I can actually get to the plant. And as you can see, we have a ton of roots that went through the bottom. Right here officially is our melon sort. As you can see, there's just a ton of roots. So. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put this one yet. I'm just gonna set it down in the tank, just like the other one. So this here is the Amazon sword that I have in the tank. It actually has some growth on top, but what I'm gonna do is cut open this one as well because this one definitely has a ton of roots and then I'll go ahead and put it in the tank. Now it's just time to rearrange them and get in our, our live plant growing rock. All right, so I'm having a little bit of trouble figuring out where to put the plants without putting this in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. I think that's a good spot for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sh push it down a little bit, kind of get it in the sand so it stays. Now I just have to figure out where to put these other plants. Okay, so the water is very, very dirty, but I think I have the basis of it down. So then the last part is gonna be to move this dwarf hair grass around and actually spread it out throughout all the rest of this open area. Okay, so now as you can see, I have a bunch of different plugs. I separated the dwarf hair grass. Basically what a plug is, is when there is a root system and it all stems from there. Dwarf hair grass really can just kind of be ripped apart and that's basically what I did. And so I officially have upgraded the betta's tank, but it is very, very messy in there. So I'm gonna give it a few hours and I'm gonna film the B-roll. So when you see it in a second, it's not gonna be from now, it's gonna be from in a few hours. But here you go, here's a look at the brand new upgraded betta fish tank. upgraded 10 gallon divided betta tank. Obviously everything still needs a little bit more time to settle. Our shrimp is back there already loving everything. And our snail is out too. 
But yeah, I cannot wait for this dwarf hair grass to really grow in and fill up this entire bottom of the tank. I want to create a carpet in here. So comment down below what you think of the upgrades I made to the tank. Really excited to have this aquarium light because I know it's going to help a lot with the plants and also the filming because it just makes the tank look so much better. But now the last thing to do for this tank is this side over here. I need to aquascape the entire thing, put a filter in, basically create the entire tank. So I'll do a tank setup on this side pretty soon. Also, thank you to everyone who has been sending me your fan art. I'm working on getting it up on the wall now. And don't forget to check out my TikTok, my Instagram, my merch if you would like. I will see you guys in a few days with a brand new video. Hit that post notification bell so you get notified when I do upload it. And other than that, I'll see you guys in a few days in the brand new video. Bye.